Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megs and this is The Painted Lip. Today I wanted to do a new series that um, I want to add to my channel and it's a Love It or Leave It. And this is going to be obviously the first video in that series and basically it's going to be kind of a follow up to any purchases that I've made here um, with showing them as a haul or anything else that I've purchased or been given uh, along the way in the last couple of months. So these are going to be products that have been tried out by me um, and not just like first impressions and so forth. So sometimes, you know, we give the first impressions um, but there's no follow up to, f you know, figure out whether or not they're actually really good or if they're, you know, really bad. Please excuse the mess going on behind me. Um, I'm doing kind of a little bit of a vision slash dream board. Um, so there's some magazines and stuff on the floor behind me and this is my living room where it's really the only space I have to do much of anything. I've got my art easel over here and uh, some other projects going on in the background and I'm trying to hide them. So I want to start off with some some eyeshadow palettes. This is the Narcissist um, Wanted palette that came out, I think it was introduced, I want to say October, November of 2017. And what I like about this palette, it, one, the quality of the shadows are awesome. The color arrangement and the color story is perfect for what I like, especially for bringing out the green in my eyes and the color, co the color combination and what I'm drawn to. Um, you can have something that's super natural, you can have something that has like that red and burgundy, dark and smoky, shimmery, you name it, there's some mattes in here and so forth. They're very blendable and they're easy to work with. Um, I don't know if it's a limited edition. I do see it at Sephora, like there's a, there's a tester there and I do see slots behind it and I do see it at the counters. So I don't know if you still can get it. So I hope you can. I hope you can because this is a really good palette. I do feel it's worth the money. However, there are so many palettes out there that have similar in tones. I just found that this one works the best for me. And obviously this is gonna be a definite love it. Okay, let's talk about some other stuff. Okay, this is the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia. This was introduced just recently, I believe, in February or March, so it's only been a couple of months since I've been using it, um, and I have used it. I love the color combination, I love the quality of these shadows, I love the blendability of these shadows. Thing is, is that, you know, about, I wanna say a quarter of these shadows are already ha are already in um, other palettes, so Modern Renaissance is, the, is one of the major ones, um, but then you also have uh, single eye shadows, and then I think the other ones also were in some earlier palettes, um, so, Noir, Cypress Umber, um, Burnt Orange, um, Orange Soto is a popular one, and Tempera. So, beautiful combination, love this, but if you have a huge makeup collection like I do, um, not bragging about that, but I already have these colors, and you probably already have maybe some of these colors from other palettes. Um, it's very reproducible and dupable. So, mm, I, I'm going to say that this is a leave it. Just purely on the fact that it's highly, highly dupable. But good quality, and if you don't have a lot of makeup, I think this is a nice one to invest in. Just saying. So it's kind of a, you know, there's a caveat there. Okay, moving on. So this isn't necessarily because the palette this palette has been made by myself, yours truly. Um, it's more about the brand. So this is by um, a company called Yabi. Yabi is Canadian based and Canadian made. I believe Canadian made, I don't wanna, maybe not, but I know it's a Canadian company. So um, these are like, obviously they're small little eyeshadows, highly pigmented. Um, this comes with me as well. Um, I've used this as a makeup artist, obviously disinfected and cleaned them um, in between. Um, I've used them for myself. Love these. These are going to be a definite love it. I think they're like $3 per little thing, but you know what? These will last you a very long time because you don't need much. I highly, highly recommend. Easy for travel. Um, they also make a uh, lip uh, glosses, a little bit bigger pans, um, cream foundation, and 
like they have a whole range now. I really enjoy Yabby. You can buy it at Belour Makeup Room here in Toronto on Queen Street West. And they also have a website, but I think it's Blur Makeup Room as well. So really, really, really recommend these. Okay, so those are a love it, if that wasn't already evident enough. Okay, let's talk about some other things. This love by beauty, okay? Love, love, love. And so I'm already setting you up saying that I love them. These are the um, cream or creme lip gloss in lavender pearl and blush pearl. Um, Bite Beauty can generally do no wrong in terms of lipstick. That's their that's their niche. They have beautiful like amuse bouche. Um, their lipsticks are phenomenal. They've done a really good job with liquid lipsticks. The mattes. Everything is super, super great. I love their agave lip masks. They, you know, repair my lips mwah, beautifully. These, while they're smooth and they're not tacky, um, they leave behind a glitter once the colors and all that kind of wear, start to wear off. I don't like glitter on my lips. I don't mind glitter on my eyes or, you know, where I've put the glitter strategically, but I don't like what leaves behind what the color, uh, what the product leaves behind with these they are very pretty i love the lavender color this is something i love to bring out the green and i love this cuz there's like a do a dual like a duo chrome to it so it goes on clear but there's like a pink kind of shift to it so i love the concept i just don't like the glitter so these are going to be a leave it for me okay moving on Okay, so I've done, a, I think, a couple of videos with Glossier products, and I've used this particular product um, in both of those videos, and while I enjoy it in the sense where I'm having a really good day with my skin, and I don't feel like I need much of anything, and I just need more of a tint and hydration more so than anything else, this doesn't do much of anything. Um, this barely does a tint. Um, it... You know, it's pretty, it's pretty basic, so it's great for those girls who don't want much for their skin um, in terms of coverage, uh, that they already have great skin perhaps, or they just don't feel like they, you know, want to wear much. Um, my problem area is my nose, so if, if there's going to be ever an issue, that's where I want to test to make sure. Um, despite all of my exfoliating, I don't over exfoliate, and I, maybe I under exfoliate a little bit, but I find my nose is where if there's going to be some dry patches and then where foundation is going to give me trouble, that's the place. And despite the fact that this is super liquidy, um, it catches there. Every little, like whether it be a pore or whether it be like a dry area, this this somehow, you know, doesn't like it. So, um, you know, I'll continue to use it, especially in the summer months. It's going to be great because I don't like to use a lot of foundations um, during the summer months. Um, so I'll continue to use it, but do I think you need to really invest it? I'm going to say it's a leave it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, next, I'm going to talk about RMS. RMS is, uh, stands for Rosemary Swift. Yeah, Rosemary Swift. Uh, she's a makeup artist who's really into more organic lifestyle, vegan. Um, most of her products are made with uh, coconut oil or coconut oil derivatives, um, if there is such a thing. And um, just very like, good for you ingredients and good for your skin ingredients. Um, so I want to talk about the Uncover Up. And I have it in color 11, which I think is maybe a little too light for me right now. Um, going into the summer months, so generally my skin warms up and gets a little bit darker, um, despite using sunscreen. Um, anyway, so I love this. It's very emollient. It's very creamy. I like to use it underneath my eyes. Um, and it, it really minim minimal creasing is what I'm trying to say underneath the eyes. I feel it's a little too much for my skin, on my face, because I get maybe normal oily come summer. Um, but I know people who do use it as kind of like a quote unquote foundation. Uh, you can use it as such. Um, so yeah, so I really like this. So this is definitely a love it. It is about 42 Canadian, so it is a little on the expensive side, but I've had mine for a while now and I've used it quite, mm, quite frequently. And like the one thing I don't necessarily care for it is the fact that it's in a pot 
and some people don't like that so uh, but I will say this is a definite love it uh, the other problem with this is was accessibility when I first got introduced to the range but now Sephora carries it online and some stores actually have it uh, but you can find this in a lot of different places in Toronto detox market in store and online and as I said Sephora and there's other like little different I think um, where else I know I've purchased it at like a yoga studio where they sell some like skincare and makeup and so forth so um, there are definitely more places that are selling RMS so this is a love it what I'm going to talk about are these liquid last um, liquid liners and if you're looking for a liner that is smooth um, doesn't flake stays put doesn't smudge um, and kind of really cool colors then I am saying look no further these are awesome. They used to be part of the core line and now they were brought back as a limited edition, I believe. Maybe they're part of core again, but these these babies do not move. Um, with that said, because they do not move, they're a little bit more, they're a little bit harder to remove. I so you need a little bit more of a industrial strength eye makeup remover. No, I've I'm it hasn't been a problem, especially I use like a cleansing oil, so that's definitely not a problem. So I like the little brushes on there, very fine. You'd be able to get in there and work your magic and do your, your wings. So I have the color Late Night, which is a kind of a tealy, tealy green. I have Blue, Blue Me Over, kind of a metallic, kind of turquoise. I have Wet Road, which um, is kind of a sparkly black just a small amount of sparkle and then I have keep it current which is this beautiful burgundy color so I love those so those are definitely a love it okay let's is there anything else here yes there is okay I have not that I do a lot with my eyebrows um, to be honest with you I'm actually quite pleasantly accepting of what I have um, and so I only need a minimal product for my eyebrows when I do decide to do them. And so this is the Hard Formula Hard 9 by Shumura. Uh, I go to Japanese whenever I can uh, in terms of skincare, in terms of eyebrow products, lashes, you name it. They generally are the go-to. So I want to try this out. What makes this one a little bit interesting is that I know it's sharp and kind of funky, um, but the formula only works on actual like your hair so if you try to kind of put it on your skin and try to test the product out it's not going to be as pigmented or it's going to look really like really does this really work but as soon as you put it through your hairs it's kind of activated or i'm not too sure the whole science behind it but that's when it's going to show up i have mine in seal brown it's fairly um a cool tone like ashier through mine because i don't want any warmth um and my only problem with this is the fact that um, in order to sharpen it, I actually have to go to a counter, which means you have to make sure you catch them on the day that they're actually there and or the salesperson at the Schumer counter knows how to sharpen because it is a specific technique. It's almost like you're whittling down a freaking tree branch um, and how they have to, and how they do it. So. I suppose you could use a regular sharpener at home if you really want to, but I enjoy the tradition and um, of having these sharpened properly and by um, a person who knows how, what they're doing. So this is a love it, okay? Love it. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Okay. Another product that I seem to love and just keep going back to is this Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. I have used many, 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 many concealers and I keep going back to this one. Why? Because it has great pigmentation, it does not crease underneath my eyes, and the color range is great. Um, and I only need a little bit. This stuff lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. I can't go through a bottle. I think the last time I went through a bottle is because it broke or something shattered. That's my only issue. Well, my issue also is that it always, you know, pumps out a little bit too much, which has been the issue right from the get-go. Anyway, so love these. I have these, I think, in NC, 
NC20, NC15 in the winter months. Um, right now this is an NC20. This seems to work. I may need to bump up to NC25. Uh, for some reason my skin seems to be getting a little bit um, darker as I get older. Um, but that's okay. So this is definitely a love it. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. Love it. Okay. Thanks for watching guys and take care and enjoy the spring summer weather, okay? Bye!